Hey, welcome to another episode of your faith and health community. I'm your host, Pastor Jackie Jackson. And as always, on behalf of myself and our producer, Anita Alexander, we want to thank you for taking time out of your busy day to spend with us. And hopefully, prayerfully, we'll share some information with you that will improve your quality of life. And this conversation is really just a continuation of last week. Well, sort of a continuation. Last week, um, because we have the same guests, we have Crystal Barnett Blair and Kelly Gunnels Valines. And last week we were talking about the blood drive that um, they were doing on November 6th. So I hope, because I asked 50 people to, to call in and to register, and then not just call in register, but to actually go and donate the blood. And I'm hoping that you did, but if not 50, then at least 49. We couldn't have 50, hopefully 49 went. Um, so we, we, we're going to start this conversation, not, not about the blood drive because that has passed, but we want to talk about some other important things that you may not think about. I, I, I do a lot of work around gun violence. You know, you've heard me talk about it. I work for Every Town for Gun Safety. So I go around the country um, doing events, one for the Gun Violence Memorial, where families who have had loved ones taken by gun violence can submit a remembrance object to go into the first national gun violence memorial that is housed right now at the National Building Museum in Washington, D.C., It'll be there until September 25th of 2022, and then it'll move to another location. It initially was in Chicago in the fall of 2019. And so I, and before that, you know, you've heard me talk about, I work as a community outreach advocate responding to the homicides and shootings, and I still do that work, just not working with the community outreach advocates, but now as a volunteer clergy with the Cincinnati Police's God, Police God Squad. I don't believe I said polices. Please act like you didn't hear that. Um, mm-hmm. And I see a lot of death and a lot of people losing their life by gun violence. And I think this is something important to say, too, because I think we forget because there's so many people either dying by gun violence or dying from COVID that we forget that people die. People sometimes die, they call it natural causes, heart attacks, strokes, um, aneurysms, and a number of different things. People die. And it would be great if we got a text on our phone or we got an email or something on TikTok or whatever letting us know that our last day is going to be next week or tomorrow or at 12 o'clock, but we don't get that. And what ends up happening is a lot of times we did not do things to prepare to make sure that our families that our families who still have to be here are able to bury us or able to make sure that 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 houses or property is going to our children or to our loved ones or wherever it needs to go. And a lot of times, especially in black and brown communities, not saying everybody. So if this isn't you, don't don't get upset. You know, just move your toes back and go. I'm doing what I need to do and then pay it forward and tell somebody else what to do. And what we're going to do today, these these two ladies are going to give you some information. They're going to educate you. And I've been talking to them for a few minutes, so they're going to educate me some as well to make sure that we are on point and that our family is covered. Oh, and if you don't have health care, you need to take your behind and go get enrolled before those medical bills have you out of your house living on the street because it has bankrupt, it's caused you to bankruptcy. So go get health care. Crystal. Kelly, thanks for coming back. No Appreciate problem. you. Well, I guess you thank never did you. leave, did you? <laughs> but thank you for sticking yeah. around. <laughs> We've been in the studio we for a you. whole week. Just, <laughs> just sitting no here. No food or nothing. <laughs> no, but, That's but, why we love you. <laughs> love you guys, too. Mm-hmm. So we were talking about a few things, um, and, and you were sharing what you were dealing with when David, David, David is um, Kelly's husband when David passed, and some things, I guess, that maybe some things you already knew, maybe some things that you found out, and you, you guys thought it was important to share this information. So you have the floor or the table. Well, first of all, I want to say that both myself and my sister Crystal and Anita, your producer, have all been in life insurance. So we all are agents. We're all licensed agents. And you never think that you're going to be in a position, we have insurance, but you try to convince others that they need it. It's the convincing that you're going to need it because eventually it's not if you're going to die, it's when you're going to die. Um, So big and huge in this situation with my husband because 
the insurance part of it, we had to come up with money to bury my husband. We had to come up with money to bury Rico. Mm -hmm. My mother, she had some, but it wasn't enough. My, it, so she was underinsured. Mm -hmm. Then you had my dad, he was underinsured. I think dad was underinsured as well, right? Mm -hmm. So we had this situation where families have to come up out of their pockets. So you're leaving behind the legacy of debt. And Ooh. also, if you think about it, they're having to now bury you and try to grieve at the same time. Mm -hmm. Which is a lot. Which is it's a, a lot. lot of work. And you know, mm -hmm. you, you mentioned something that was interesting, not having enough Correct. insurance. And, and if you think back in the day, I remember, you know, people were buying just the bare man. I'm talking about when the insurance man used to come by your house, house and pick up the pick money, up the premium, which I right. thought was pretty mm -hmm. brave. But you were, <laughs> <Yes>. you, <laughs> you were getting the bare minimum of insurance and I work with a lot of people um, especially if there's homicides or, mm -hmm. or just or just death however it comes and one of the things sometimes sitting at a funeral home with a family as they're going through it or talking to them is that we have X amount of dollars mm -hmm. and what some people mm -hmm. don't understand or know that even once you pay for the funeral, the funeral is a separate cost. Yes. Now you've got to pay to open up the grave. That's correct. And so that becomes a separate cost. So you may say, well, we got $4,000 and it's only, mm. I could do a cremation for $3,500. Yeah, but you're going to need a couple of more grand to open the grave. And depending on where you're going is going to determine what kind right. of money you have to spend. So I just kind of wanted to throw that in for people because there's so much more than mm -hmm. just money is an object for for most of us. Well, maybe not you two because you're rich, but people yeah. like me. Um, no. <laughs> <My> <laughs> we walking in it. Uh, we walking in it by faith. Hey, hey, speak things as not speak that are not as though they are. And he moves. Um, <laughs> but but you know it, it costs. Mm -hmm. But there are just some things that gonna have to spend some money on because that's that's what the world is and at the end of the day you said trying to pay for a funeral mm -hmm. while you're grieving Correct. that is hard enough yes. all by itself mm -hmm. heaven forbid you throw in some family members and I'm and I'm gonna say it some family members who their whole mind is not on the death but what do I get what do I get how much do I get how much was the insurance policy not because mm -hmm. do you have enough let me make see if you need me to make up but do you have enough that I can pay off my bills, you know, because what they look I at get? death. What did I get? It's like death is a cash cow for some people. I'm mm -hmm. sorry. It's I, true. I'll go back to what I was talking about. Mm -hmm. Now, you mentioned something about a TOD. Is that? Yeah. Before we came out here, I was talking to Sister Anita um, about the benefit of a TOD. So I work part time at a bank, happen to have a customer that I was talking to. This customer said, hey, do you all have TODs? I said, what is a TOD? I'd never been educated on it. We both sell insurance. All three of us sell insurance. What is a TOD? It's a transfer on death mm -hmm. benefit. So I went ahead and took advantage of that information, called up my attorney who did my original will and said, hey, uh, you know, my husband had this house. He's no longer here. Something happens to me. Who do I leave it to? Mm -hmm. So whoever you want to leave it to, can I do a TOD? Yes, you can. It keeps them from going into your home, going into the system, mm -hmm. basically. Going, the government having a part in your home. So now they have to set up a, because you don't have, a, if you don't have a will, or if you do have a will, you didn't say who you wanted that house to go to, so now it's in probate. Now there's taxes that got to be paid on it for they can even get the house. Now it puts them in a hardship to try to keep a home that you would have wanted to be, to want to stay in the family mm -hmm. in the first place. Also, you can do it with your car. So I went, took care of the house. That's in the TOD to who I wanted to go to. I did the same thing, and I did that this week. Um, they, for the attorney files it for you with your county. You pay, it's $184. That's less than the taxes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because it's based on what you owe, what your taxes are going to be. Mm -hmm. um, also, I did it with my car. Went to the BMV, said, hey, I want to leave this. All you need is that person's name date of birth, social security number. Now, if you don't know their information, they have a vehicle and they're registered, they can pull it up. They redo your title, give you a new title that states their name and that this goes to them on death. It saves them so much stress. It is always a stressful situation. Mm -hmm. It takes such a load off, oh my God, I don't have to deal with that. Mm -hmm. I can breathe a little bit. Mm -hmm. I have a little bit of time through this situation I'm going through. Mm -hmm. But definitely you want to have a will in place. You want to state what you want, what your wishes are, and then you want to take care of that property. 
Do you have to list? Because I asked, do I have to list everything in the home? No. It's part of the contents of the home. The home, the vehicles. Hallelujah. And then also your checking and savings as a payable on death beneficiary. Mm -hmm. Because I had that with my mom. I think you had it with, with dad. What happens is if it's a payable on death, when they pass, you produce a death certificate, you take the money. That, that's simple. If you don't have that, all that goes to probate. Oh, because the system is happy to yes. take it. Mm -hmm. the, and, you know, we were talking earlier before we got on camera about how a lot of times in a black and brown community, this isn't being done. Mm -hmm. And it's not being done in a lot of white communities, too, just, mm -hmm. to, just to be honest. But a lot of times in black and brown community, you don't know mm -hmm. to do it. And unfortunately, and again, if this isn't you, don't, don't, don't get your feelings mm -hmm. hurt. But... We don't teach our kids right. to do that. Mm -hmm. Whether it's intimidation, um, whether it's the lack of knowledge. The Bible says my people perish for lack of knowledge. Yes. And, 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 and that is a, lot, a, a wide range of different things that we perish for. But learning. You know, we live in a beautiful age. When I was growing up, I'm a little bit older. I'm probably a lot older, older than you guys. But when I was growing up, if I needed to learn something or if I needed to research, I had to either get the, the what is it, the, 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 the um, Encyclopedia of Canada or go to Brutanita, whatever it was. That's not the right word, but that book. Go to the library. I mean, you had to get the library card out of the thing and, and the, what, the Dewey Decimal System and, and all of this other stuff. But now sitting at home in front of your television, sitting on the bus, in the bathroom. You can go and find whatever information. So the mm -hmm. things that we as a community are ignorant to now, oftentimes is more because we are willfully mm -hmm. ignorant. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. And, 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 and what, let me check, because that, that's kind of unfair. If you don't, you don't know what you don't know. Right. But what I do, and I'm not saying everybody else do it, because there are people who probably do way more, not probably, definitely do way more than I do. But I sit on the internet sometimes and just think about stuff to search for no reason. I mean, no reason at all. I have absolutely no use for it, but I just want to know <laughs> about it, why it happened, how it happens, how do I do it, what makes it tick. And that's what we as a community have to get into because mm -hmm. what you're saying, it doesn't matter who you are, you are going to face either your own death mm -hmm. or a death of someone you love. Yes. And if you have no responsibility of, of how things work where that's concerned, then I guess it doesn't matter. But if you are a responsible adult, if you are a caregiver, if you are a parent, if you are a child with parents, mm -hmm. it's information that you need to know because no one is just going... Listen, probate court is not going to call you up. Or probate, no, no. they're not going to call you up and go, hey, have you done this? Because if you don't, we're going to take your house. Right. They're not going to tell you that. They're just going right. to sit there and wait. And right. then you're stunned because... You didn't know, and since you didn't know, you didn't follow up, and now it's gone. Mm -hmm. So give us, some more, give us some more nuggets. Tell people what else they need to know. I will say this. They don't want probate, does not want to help you. I happen to, because I had a really bad experience, I asked for a manager. This lady stepped up, and she got, there was a gentleman, he stepped up and got a lady to come and help me. Basically, on the phone, I was in tears. I was like, all I'm trying to do is handle my husband's affairs. And she walked me through. It was like God gave me that grace um, and walked me through it. A lot of things I didn't know, the Social Security part of it, my sister, you know, she can speak on that, as well as the insurance part of it, how important it is to make sure you handle the Social Security part of it for somebody who is deceased to protect their Social Security number. And I'm going to be quiet and give that to my sister. Mm -hmm. Also, she's an agent. She's an insu insurance agent as well. All right, Agent Christine. We both are agents. So it's yeah. Sister Anita. All of us are selling insurance. Yes. My, my main thing when I talk about insurance is that, one, you want to get it while you're young, if you can. Mm -hmm. The younger you are, the cheaper it is. Um, also, that insurance, it creates an immediate estate. Mm -hmm. So if you have insurance and something happens to you, once again, your family that's left behind is able to grieve. They're able because everything else is taken care of. It's in place. These are the things that you want to do. You want to make sure that you have things in place for when you do leave. Once, like you said earlier, we don't get a text or TikTok or email saying, "Okay, you great, leave in a few hours. Mm -hmm. Go get this taken care of." You have a short. You, 
we're gone mm -hmm. just like that. Before mm -hmm. we know it, we're gone. And the people that are left behind are the people that are here hurting, that are here stressing, mm -hmm. that end up, the stress is so overwhelming that they end up may taking their lives or it may, mm -hmm. that stress may take their life. So not only has it affected you because you're gone, it's affected everyone else. And if you, you mentioned something about if you have small children, if you have children, that's another thing with probate. If you don't have a, a will and you have small children, those children are awarded to probate. They go to the state. Mm -hmm. So you, that will is something that you need to have. The insurance is something that you definitely need to have because no one wants to see a GoFundMe, mm -hmm. a fish fry, because that doesn't necessarily raise enough money to get you where you, your family's taken care of. If you have small children and your children left behind, that's affecting them. Mm -hmm. They have now lost their parent, parents, and someone else has to take over and take care of them. So anything that they've been used to doing, or maybe a community they're used to living in, they may not longer live in that community. They may not longer go to that school. They may no longer have that loving relationship with someone because now that person has taken on their burden of, of your children and may have to go back to work mm -hmm. and may have to try to provide for these children. But if you have this insurance that's for them, it doesn't necessarily take care of the funeral. It takes care of making sure your children go to college. Mm -hmm. It makes sure that they're still going yes. to the same school that they were in, maybe even the same, living in the same neighborhood that they were in, and not have to make new friends while going through a traumatic experience of losing a parent. So when if you're a parent, think about your children. Mm -hmm. This is not necessarily, it's not about you. It's about your children. It's about the people that you're leaving and not leaving a death legacy. Why not leave, set them up for success, although you're not here, set them up for success later on as opposed to them having a struggle, find their way to get to, because mental health at that time for children is another thing that needs to be looked at. What are What is gonna happen with the children as far as their mental health is concerned? If there's a GoFundMe, if there's a fish fry, because that's all that's taken care of is the funeral. Mm -hmm. It's not taken care of the after effects two weeks after the funeral, years after the funeral, those children are left behind. So. That's one thing that I always look at. Look at insurance when you're young. Maybe you don't even have children. Get the insurance then because it's cheaper. It, it doesn't cost, it's not an arm and leg, but if you wait till you get 30, 40, 50 years old, yes, it's gonna be an arm and leg. And you're gonna not be able to get as much coverage. So I'm 30, you're telling me it's gonna cost me a lot? <laughs> And your health condition changes. Uh, oh, yes. So if your health changes, that changes your rate, too. Whether or not you even It's insured. harder to get it. You may not you even may not be, be insurable. insurable. Mm -hmm. So you need to the, get it as early as you possibly can. You can get it as soon as you get the baby's Social Security number. As soon as they're issued a Social Security number, you can get coverage on your yeah, child. Yeah, I see, okay. um, yes. what is the Gerber? They send out. So I'm, I'm not saying yeah. to use that, but... The fact that they do send that out when mm -hmm. when when babies are born, mm -hmm. or at least they used to. Mm -hmm. I mean, they still do. I was gonna say my oldest is twenty four, yeah. so things have probably changed. They still yeah. do. But, they um, still send it <laughs> okay. out. Mm -hmm. So I mean, whether it's that one or not, the point is that they they are letting you know it's important. that it's important. You might want to get some get, get some insurance because uh, baby on children child. pass away as well. They do. Yes, they I've do. done a God I've done a couple. It of baby's funerals, mm -hmm. some of the hardest ones Those to do. Them, yes. And then you look at grandparents, right? Mm -hmm. Grandparents who who have who have lived their life, mm -hmm. maybe they, they they're they're Absolutely. they're they're living their dream retirement. Absolutely. They're not working the way they were, so their funds out there now because there are a lot of grandparents that are becoming parents all oh, yes, over again. Absolutely. And if you're doing if we're doing the right thing, then mm -hmm. when they make that if if God forbid, but they have to make that transformation. Then the things you mentioned, the home, um, their lifestyle mm -hmm. may not have to change. Mm -hmm. Or it's going to change some. You know, right. it, it doesn't matter if you leave them a billion dollars. Right. Something is going to change, but right. at mm -hmm. least you're not putting grandmother or grandfather in a hard position okay. trying to yes. figure out how because they because you don't plan your retirement to take care of your grandchildren Correct. No, you, you plan don't. your retirement to be retired and and take care of you mm -hmm. 
and I guess each other as you age. So that's some that's some real important information. Mm -hmm. and, and 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 I mentioned fish fry and it's come up and not saying there's anything wrong but with that by any stretch of the imagination. But if you need thirty five hundred dollars to do the funeral and then another two thousand, twenty five hundred to open the grave. Mm, that is enough. a lot of, of fish, fish mm -hmm. that you have to, to buy, buy before you fry. <laughs> yes. fry. So yes. that's a lot. That's and a lot. so if you and, and also it's important to get it done right away because mm -hmm. what you need to understand, and I'll, I'll let you all speak on this because you would know better than I do, and we only have a couple of minutes left. But getting getting life insurance today doesn't mean you die tomorrow and they're gonna pay it. Mm -hmm. Right? So there are some That's policies, correct. I think, that are that, you have that a two-year right contestability clause. Two with years, every policy, they have two years to say, "Wait a minute, hold on, let us do some research." Was it suicide? It was suicide for sure. They're not going to pay it, right? How? I mean, you got two years that you have to withstand that po that that policy in order to have a payout. And so, if something happens in one year. 360 days, they still have the object of uh, the option of saying you just get your premiums back, hey, whatever you paid into it. Here you go, you take that. Take that's not back. enough for me to do, mm -hmm. but but it's something in their it mindset because yeah. you got to remember insurance. The I'm talking, I'm not talking about the people who come to, to not come to your house, but you sit down with. <laughs> But the people who get the money, mm -hmm. it's a business for them. Oh yeah, and and no business wants to give you their money if they can keep it. So mm -hmm. you got to be smart. Do your research. You do your research. Yes. Find out about the T-O-P. T-O-D. T-O-D. D and David. Yep. T-O-D. And what is it? Uh, D is in David. No, what, what, what does it stand for? It's uh, transfer on death. Transfer on death. It's transferring yeah. your property to who you want it to go to without going through probate. Get your phone out. Get on your laptop. Yeah. Get your iPad. I don't know and what. You want to go through an attorney. Get your to do watch. That. Do your little watch thing, mm -hmm. and pull up a TOD mm -hmm. transfer of death. What does that mean? Especially if you're a homeowner, mm -hmm. if you own a vehicle, mm -hmm. motorcycle, I don't know, a rubber duck, whatever it is that you want to go to your family, yes. you want to make sure that it's going without causing them the hardship right. of trying to battle with the system. Mm -hmm. As well as your money, payable as well, on death. As well as payable That's a payable on death beneficiary. Payable that, on death beneficiary. And it doesn't mean that they have access to your money. So, like, right now, my son is my payable on death beneficiary. So, he can't just go and get money out of my account. That's my account. It's an individual account. But when I die, because I'm going, everybody's going to die one day. When I pass, prayerfully, it's before him. <laughs> we don't know. But I'm praying that God takes me first. Right. That's, I could not withstand it. This has already been a lot. But he, gets, he can go there with a death certificate and say, my mom passed. I'm the payable and death beneficiary. They say, can we see your ID? They check it. They got the death certificate. They close out the account. He gets the money. Does not go through probate. So he ain't got to pay taxes on it. The system don't get the money. Right. And it goes to who me, you wanted to have it. They will take your money if you leave it out there. A the, T.O.P. T.O.D. T -O -D, transfer of on death, death on death. And, and payable on death. Payable on death. So the T O D and the P O D. Payable on death. Payable yep. on death. And also, this is something I wanted Crystal to talk about real briefly. When David passed, um, making sure that we let them know that he had passed through Social Security, because that protects his Social Security and identity. So I don't have to call the reporting agencies to say block everything. It took care of that, and they distributed the money to his younger. Children, so they would have they split his beneficiaries as someone who's getting Social Security disability between his minor children. So they still are taken care of. So your family, the through bottom line is through Social Security. Make sure that's done in the T O D and the P O D. Yes, and do it A S A P. Amen. For Amen. your family. Amen. So yes. listen, we want to thank you again for spending time with us. I'm not even gonna say hopefully. I know. Listen, I learned something today, and and I'm I'm some dumb, not plum dumb, and and, 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 and I learned something today, and I know you learned something today too. So I think we 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 did our mission to God be the glory. Amen. So I want to thank Amen. you for spending time with us, and until the next time we're together, stay faithful. <laughs>